Welcome to English Plus Podcast, the English we speak, and much more. Learn English, expand your knowledge, and enjoy through our vocabulary builder, novel, grammar, series, word power, poetry, and literature episodes. All our episodes come with full transcripts, quizzes, downloadable worksheets, and more exclusive content you get only by listening to English Plus Podcast. Support English Plus Podcast by becoming a patron of the show on Patreon. Use the link in the description and become a patron of English Plus Podcast. There are many benefits to becoming a patron of our show, so what are you waiting for? Click the link and check them out on my Patreon page. But above all, support English Plus Podcast and help our free e-learning journey continue. In today's grammar episode, we will be talking about present continuous and present simple. So, let's start with the present continuous. Let's take a look at this example. If we say that Sarah is in her car and she is on her way to work, so we can say she is driving to work or she is driving. What does that mean? It means that she is driving now, at the time of speaking, and the action is not finished yet. She is in the middle of this action. She started it, she's still doing it, but it's still not over. And that is basically the main meaning of the present continuous. And to make the present continuous, we use the present form of verb to be am, is, or are, with the ing form of the main verb. For example, we say I am driving or I'm for short or the contraction form. We can say he, she or it is working or he's working, she's working, it's working. And we say we, you or they are doing something. Or of course, for contraction, we say we're doing or you're doing or they're doing. So. When I say I am doing something, it means I started doing it and I haven't finished. I'm in the middle of doing it. For example, we say, please don't make so much noise. I'm trying to work. Not I try to work. It's not a general thing I do. I'm talking about right now. At the moment, I'm trying to work right now and I still haven't finished. I'm still trying to work. We say, for example, where's Mark? He's having a shower. Not he has a shower, because we're not talking about, in general, what Mark does at this time of the day. We're talking about what he is doing right now. We can say, for example, let's go out now. It isn't raining anymore. Not it doesn't rain. We're not talking about this time of year. In general, it doesn't rain at this time of year. That would be the present simple, which we will talk about a little bit later. It isn't raining anymore. That means we are talking about at the moment of speaking, right now. But sometimes, the action is not happening at the time of speaking. Not exactly at the time of speaking. For example, Steve is talking to a friend on the phone and he says, I'm reading a really good book at the moment. It's about a man who does, etc. So, Steve said, I'm reading a really good book. But what is he really doing at the moment of speaking? He is talking to a friend on the phone. He's not reading the book right now or at the moment of speaking. But still, the meaning of the present continuous is there. So, he can say, I'm reading. Because he means that he has started reading the book, but has not finished yet. He's in the middle of reading it. So, the present continuous could be used to talk about actions we are doing at the moment of speaking or around the moment of speaking. You should always focus on the main meaning, which is something that you started, but you haven't finished yet, and you're still doing. You're still in the middle of doing. Maybe it takes a long time. Like in this example, I'm reading a really good book at the moment. So here, it's not an action I'm doing at the moment. I'm doing something else right now. But I'm still reading the book. 
I haven't finished reading the book. Some more examples in this sense, like when we say Kate wants to work in Italy, so she's learning Italian. Well, maybe she's learning Italian at the moment of speaking, maybe she's not. But what we're interested in, that she's doing it right now. She has started learning Italian and she hasn't finished yet. So the action takes a long time. Maybe she's doing it at the moment of speaking, maybe not. But it's still a continuous present action. So it is present continuous. We can also say some friends of mine are building their own house. Maybe they're sleeping right now. Maybe they're eating right now. But they are building their own house. It takes time. They have started building the house. They haven't finished yet. They're still in the middle of this action. You can use the present continuous with today, this week, this year, and these expressions that mean periods around now. Like when we say, you're working hard today. Not you work hard today. Or when we say, the company I work for isn't doing so well this year. So here again, these examples are not exactly talking about actions that are happening at the moment of speaking, but it could be happening around the moment of speaking, around now. And we can also use the present continuous when we talk about a change that has started to happen, and we often use these verbs in this way. Getting, becoming, starting, beginning, changing, improving, increasing, rising, falling, growing. For example, we say, is your English getting better? Now, we're talking about th these changes that have started to happen. And your English is getting better. We don't say, does your English get better? It's not a general thing we're talking about. It's not a fact we're talking about. We're talking about actions that or changes that have started to happen. Another example, we say the population of the world is increasing very fast. We don't say the population of the world increases. We say, for example, at first, I didn't like my job, but I'm starting to enjoy it now. So I'm starting to enjoy it. This is a change that is happening around now. So it's not something that's happening at the moment. It's not like when I say, I'm speaking to you right now, or I'm recording the podcast right now. That is, of course, the main use of the present continuous, but always Remember that we can use the present continuous to talk about things that are happening now, exactly right now, or around now. So that was in general about the present continuous. What about the present simple? Now, let's take a look at this example. Alex is a bus driver, but now he is in bed asleep. He is not driving a bus right now. He is asleep. But he drives a bus. He is a bus driver. That is what he does every day of his life. It is a permanent thing that he does on a regular basis. And to form the present simple, remember that we use this S. He, she, or it. So, for example, we say, I, we, you, or they, drive, work, do, etc. But we say, he, she, it drives, works, does, etc. So we add this S. Now we use the present simple to talk about things in general. We use it to say that something happens all the time or repeatedly, or that something is true in general. Let's take a look at these examples and see how this applies to these examples. Nurses look after patients in hospital. Now we're talking about what nurses do in general. Nurses look after patients in hospitals. I usually go away at weekends. I usually do that. It's not just this weekend. It's not last weekend I'm talking about. I'm talking about what I usually do at weekends. I usually go away at weekends. The earth goes round the sun. Now, that is not something that happens only once a year or whenever it happens. It happens every day, all the time. 
It's a general thing. It's actually a fact. Or when we say the cafe opens at 7.30 in the morning. So the cafe opens at 7.30. That's the usual time the cafe opens. It's not just today. It's not temporary. It is permanent. And that is something you have to put in mind when you think about continuous and simple. In our case, present continuous and present simple. The simple talks about the general. The continuous talks about the specific. The simple talks about more permanent actions. And the continuous talks about more temporary actions. And remember again, don't forget the S. Well, this is one of the most common mistakes that people make when they speak English and they drop the S's when they use he or she or it. Remember, I work, but he works. You go, but it goes. They teach, a sister teaches. I have, but he has. Now, we use do or does to make questions and negative sentences. It's not as easy as it is in the present continuous where we have verb to be. In verb to be, we just add not. We say, I am doing something. I am not doing something. He is going somewhere. He is not going somewhere or he isn't going somewhere. Well, in the present simple, it is not that simple. We have to add do or does to make questions and negative sentences. For example, we say, do I work? Do they work? Do you work? Does he drive? Does she drive? Does it work? So here, do for I, we, you, and they, and does for he, she, and it. That is for making questions. And for negatives, it's the same thing. We add do or does, of course, with not. We say, for example, I don't work or you don't work, but I say he she or it doesn't work. So, for example, we say, I come from Canada. Where do you come from? Of course, we use the present simple because we are talking about something that is a general fact. Where are you from? Another example, I don't go away very often. I'm not talking about this weekend. I'm not talking about a temporary thing or a specific thing. In general, I don't go away very often. We ask for the meaning of words, and that's a very common question. What does this word mean? Not what is this word meaning, because it's not like it is meaning something right now, and after a couple of seconds, it's going to mean something else. That's a fact. This word means this. Another example, rice doesn't grow in cold climates. And that's also a general fact. Now, notice that sometimes we use the main verb as the verb do itself. So, don't be surprised to see do used twice. For example, what do you do? So, the first do we use just to make questions in present simple. And the second do actually is the main verb. So, what do you do? I work in a shop. I work as a teacher, etc. Another example, he's always so lazy. He doesn't do anything to help. He doesn't do. So, doesn't, we use it to create this negative sentence. And the other do, doesn't do, that is the main verb. Now, we use the present simple to say how often we do things. For example, we say, I get up at 8 o'clock every morning. Or, we say, how often do you go to the dentist? We're talking about how often we do things. The first example, it's every morning. And the second example, actually, I'm asking how often. Another example, Julie doesn't drink tea very often. Again, I'm talking about how often she does or she doesn't something. Robert usually goes away two or three times a year. We're talking about the frequency of the action or how often this action happens. Robert usually goes away two or three times a year. Now, sometimes we do things by saying something. 
For example, when you promise to do something, you can say I promise. When you suggest something, you can say I suggest. For example, we say I promise I won't be late. We don't say I'm promising. Or we say, what do you suggest I do? And the person can say, I suggest that you do, etc. So with these verbs, I apologize, I advise, I insist, I agree, I refuse, etc. We use the present simple, not the present continuous. So I hope that made the present continuous and the present simple a little bit easier for you to use in your conversations. But that's not everything. We will talk more about the differences between the present continuous and the present simple next week in our grammar episode, so stay tuned. There is much more to talk about and there are a lot of details to cover when it comes to the differences between the present continuous and the present simple. So I will see you next time and thank you very much for listening to our podcast today.